What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to talk about something that I experienced which was really cool during the spirit board testing and that is some of the different mechanics inside of some of these strongholds in the brand new section of the uh, season six expansion. So I wanna talk about the Festering Dark. This is a stronghold which I'm gonna go ahead and play for you guys which is really, really unique. I'm just gonna talk about it. It's gonna be a short video, but when you come into this stronghold, it's just a different mechanic. I know we've had other things where you gotta like unlock certain doors or do certain, you know, kill certain monsters, but this one was really unique. You had to come down here. It was kind of like a puzzle. You pick up this lantern, which you're gonna use to gain you access through the entire stronghold okay so i'm gonna let this video play out so you guys can kind of see me finish it all the way to the end but this is really really cool and i'll pop in and talk about some more things as we get to the end so you use this lantern you can see that we have some powers down there at the bottom on the skill bar and you see how it just takes away all of the darkness it kind of leads your way through the stronghold which i think is really cool you can use it to um uh, you can use it and put it inside of these barriers after killing the enemies, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, those little, those little like lantern parts that are, or like things that are sitting there are just going to kind of give you as a guide on where you need to go, which I think is super, super cool. So you can see here, I'm kind of lost trying to figure out where I need to go. But once I figure out, oh, hey, I just got to put it in that, in that little like goblet. Um, then it unlocks all of that. I keep trying to like access it and it's just not working, which is pretty cool. But if you come down here, you'll see me just uh, drop this. I eventually figure it out because I'm, I'm a smart gamer. So we put it in the barrier and this brings the reliquary lantern to a source of the hateful dark. So you can see it's this little girl or this little ghost and you're going to follow the ghost and she's going to lead you to where you got to go. So it's basically a guide. Um, on where you need to go and she just gets rid of everything, right? So like I don't have to pick nothing up. She has the lantern. She's my guide And she destroys everything and then she drops the lantern and it takes you all the way through which I think is super cool So you had to do this throughout the entire dungeon as we're going through deeper and deeper into this uh, stronghold which I think was so unique um, and you can use it to fight monsters, right? Like you can use it to get them away and you can use this guide to light up where you need to go as many times as you need to which i thought was pretty cool right so then we go through the dungeon we're going to get towards the end here and i want to show the, the this boss fight i'm going to let this play but this boss fight was so cool this was such a, a very cool boss fight um and i think if the developers did more things like this with the strongholds it would allow for a much more replayable value and i think i i know it may seem tedious with the the ghost thing but this was just such a cool fight so we got this boss right and we're going to destroy this boss which is which is pretty cool uh inside the stronghold and this is just one mini boss this is a mini boss to it you can see like the mechanics are really cool you got to destroy all of the little guys that are just like feeding him life or whatever it is um and the eagle let me tell you guys the eagle was probably the best thing out of all the stuff that i played besides the centipede so we kill him and then we're going to grab our lantern and just keep rolling which is super cool um but when we get deeper and deeper uh i want to show you the the final boss because i think having strongholds like this are going to be so cool and if the rewards are really good then I think having more of an adventure type way to, you know, clear a stronghold. Because you got to think, the strongholds have been overtaken by the enemy. And having very unique ways that are applied to the monsters in the region will make it really cool to be like, wow, look what they did. Now I'm going to I'm gonna claim this castle back, so to speak. So now this is the final boss, Malfism. And there's five different lanterns here. You need to keep those lanterns lit the entire time that you're fighting him. Now, throughout the fight, you're going to see that he kind of darkens out the lanterns. And we have to kill these monsters and we have to relight them. You can see he kind of takes them out, right? So we can't, we can't relight them just yet. It kind of goes through the mechanic here. He's kind of invulnerable at the moment, 
right? And then once we're able to relight the lanterns, you need to keep them lit as much as possible. It's the only way his immunity and his shield will go away. So that way we can actually apply some damage here. So it's back up. We light it. Those guys go away. Same thing over here. They're trying to drain it. Okay, that's what gives him power and immunity. So we do that. We got to go all the way around and do it to each of them. Right? And then when that happens, then his shield drops. He loses the immunity. And we're able to just deal more damage. So now, one trick to this too is that with those lanterns, you have to draw him into the lantern. So once you, once you have them lit, you want to draw him into that AoE. And that's the way his shield drops. So that way you can deal as much damage as possible. So right now he's immune until you can relight these things. And then once you light that, I need to draw him into that AoE circle. So that way I can kill him. So you can see how his, his HP lights up and then goes away. Like, watch. As soon as I pull him in here, now I can fight him, right? And then and then his, his shield will come back up once he comes out on the outside. See, his shield's back up. So you got to pull him in. But you want to keep as many of these as possible. So when you're moving around and dodging the mechanics and all that stuff, you'll be able to do as much damage as possible. So we go through. Uh, this is where we, like, I think we finish him right here. I think we just deal a crap ton of damage to him. Yeah. Because the eagle is the eagle is pretty insane. Um, the e the eagle is pretty nuts, guys. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's kind of kind of silly, but yeah, I think this the stronghold is so cool. Let me draw it back, and this is the stronghold right down here at the south of the the brand new area, which is super cool, man. I mean, the festering dark. I just thought I wanted to share this with you guys. This is going to be a short video. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I think the whole way they did this stronghold. And if they go forward to make strongholds replayable this way, whenever you make a new character, uh, etc. I think it's like really cool and unique. I think doing something like this in an adventure type game where it just applies to the monsters in the region. Like I said, I think it's really, really cool. So I wanted to show you guys this because I thought this was awesome. Um, make sure to like the video guys comment down below let me know what you guys think about the stronghold and what kind of suggestions would you have for the current strongholds that we already have in sanctuary let me know down in the comments below don't forget to subscribe guys and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace